Good morning, you guys. So ever since we got married, we have been spending a lot of time thinking about and researching exactly how we want our lives to look as we get older. And for both of us, probably the most important thing is living as long and healthy a life as possible. I'm pretty much obsessed with the idea of living to 100. <laughs> no one in my family has ever done it, and I really want to be the first. I'm 6'6", six, six, so that's not helping me. But fortunately, I have one thing really going for me, which is that I'm a hiker. There was this study done on a bunch of centenarians, and they came up with a statistic that they weren't at all expecting, which is that 56% of the centenarians took at least one hike per week. That's a lot. I know. It's incredible, actually. Yeah. You know, ever since I've been dealing with this crazy disc bulge injury in my back, I've really been realizing the impact that aging can have on your ability to be physically active. But at the same time, I mean, these centenarians are obviously not going out and doing hiking suffer fest, right? Right, obviously. <laughs> so that really got me interested in figuring out, okay, well, what is it about hiking that is just so beneficial to your lifespan? Even if you just do a mile a day or something. Right, exactly. So I've had a lot of time during this injury to do a lot of research and we thought it'd be Fun to share with you guys what we've learned about exactly what the benefits of hiking are for your lifespan. So the most obvious benefit of hiking on longevity is of course physical. Cardio exercise in general is great for your heart health, your immune system, even brain health, getting older, warding off dementia and things like that. So exercises such as biking or swimming, walking, they're all great, but hiking is better than all of them. So why is that? Hiking is actually a weight-bearing exercise. Weight-bearing in the sense that you're actually carrying the weight of your body, but also often the weight of a backpack. Or even your hiking partner. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, that is true. But that is actually really important, especially as we get older. If you were to look at just all the studies of causes of death in the elderly, just a normal household fall is a huge risk factor. So people who fall and let's say break their hip, have a doubled risk of dying in the next year. It's like a one in five chance that you die if you fracture your hip as an elderly person. That's something that's actually happened with my own family. So I know that to be true. Yeah. And hiking and being out there strengthening, not just your bone structure and your muscles, but all those little interstitial muscles. As you're right. walking on uneven terrain, that's why hiking's even better than walking along a sidewalk or something. Mm -hmm. So helpful as you get older for maintaining your balance and not having those tragic falls in your 70s, 80s, and 90s. Everyone always jokes about how Adam looks so funny, like a little gazelle, like prancing down the hills. But I think that's actually really gonna help you to have that kind of stability as you get older. Yeah, let's hope. Another really huge benefit of hiking as opposed to let's say walking on a treadmill is that it's outdoors. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna talk in a minute about all the mental benefits of being outdoors, but even physically, Sun causes your body to make vitamin D, which is really important to the immune system. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a huge believer in this. Maybe it's a little bit placebo effect as well, but if I get outside and hike in the sun, I just know that I'm gonna be healthy. Yeah, it's crazy. They say up to 40% of Americans are actually vitamin D deficient. And vitamin D can help your body absorb more calcium, which is also really good for your bone health. So just another reason why being outside is so important as we get older. Yeah, hiking outdoors, nothing better. Now the second greatest benefit of hiking when it comes to longevity is its effects on your mental health. There's pretty good research that shows that having a mental health condition like depression, let's say, can actually reduce your life expectancy by between 10 to 20 years. That's a lot. <laughs> it really is a lot. Yeah. And pretty much everybody knows that exercise is beneficial for your mental health, kind of any sort of exercise, especially cardio exercise. But once again, hiking is better than all the others. Mm -hmm. Hiking is just better because it's outdoors. There was actually a really interesting study that basically randomized people to either doing a totally sedentary routine where they didn't exercise at all versus doing an indoor exercise routine or doing a mountain hiking outdoor exercise routine. And what they found was that, of course, all the people in the exercise groups, indoor or outdoor, had really significant improvements in their physical and mental health, 
but the outdoor exercise group actually showed way higher improvements in their overall mood. And even they were less likely to feel fatigued from doing the same kind of exercise as the indoor group. And it's really interesting because this is something that we know just from our own experience. We do plenty of workouts in the gym. And of course, as you know, we go on plenty of great adventures outdoors. We always feel so much better during the outdoor adventures, yeah. both during and after. It's this lasting effect. We don't know exactly why. Even in the study, they don't know exactly why, but it's got to have to do with sunlight and fresh air yeah. and nature, whatever it is. It's just better. And it's now scientifically proven that it is. Okay, so that's the physical and the mental benefits of hiking, but there are also some what, for lack of a better word, we could call spiritual benefits mm -hmm. that are very significant. So there's actually a traditional Japanese practice which translates to forest bathing. Forest bathing? We do that all the time. Okay, it's not like actual like bathing in, in mountain lakes and stuff like that. <laughs> that's good for my mental health. I, I, thought it, right now. I thought it was that person too. I was like, I do that all the time. But we actually do do this. So it's basically where you go out into nature, but you make it a point to engage all of your senses. It's almost like a mindfulness practice or a meditation. That we definitely do. Mm -hmm. In fact, you guys see us out there filming all the time. You might think we're just yap, yap, yapping. Yeah. We actually make it a true practice mm -hmm. to just smell, listen, Sometimes we'll just sit, especially during our breaks, and close our eyes and hear the forest. Um, we also do a gratitude practice at the mm -hmm. top of every climb. But there are lots of times when we just really absorb the nature around us. And the science really shows that if you not only go out into nature, but you incorporate some sort of mindfulness practice like that, the impact on the physical mental health benefits is just substantially increased. Forest bathing. And jump in those lakes too. That's another kind of baby. It's actually good for you. <laughs> Last but not least, hiking has really significant social benefits. Mm -hmm. There was a big meta-analysis of over 145 different studies. And basically what it showed was that as we get older, the people with the strongest social relationships have a 50% lower all-cause mortality. That's a lot. That's pretty amazing, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And hiking obviously lends itself to talking because mm -hmm. it's, it's an activity where you're not breathing so hard, you can't talk. Mm -hmm. And so that's fantastic. It's also great because unlike other social activities where you're more likely to engage in unhealthy things like drinking alcohol or eating, feasting on fatty, sugary foods, hiking doesn't involve any of that. It's a super healthy activity all on its own. Super healthy social activity. Yeah. And speaking of health, also, as we move into this new era of pandemic after pandemic, whether it's COVID or flu or whatever it is, hiking is outdoors. It's mostly kind of separated from big crowds of people. And so it's a way you can socialize with friends, loved ones, family and not be in a big crowd that's spreading germs everywhere. There's a big reason all of us were out on the trails during COVID. Yep. And then last, hiking is just affordable. You know, there's lots of like exercise classes you can do with friends, but those can get pretty expensive. And golf, <laughs> golf is also really social, but it's so expensive now. And even tennis, honestly, tennis yeah. clubs have gotten really expensive. That's true. So as long as you go to just your local hike, it's totally free. Yeah. So there you have it. Those are the four main reasons why hiking is the single best activity to help you live longer. Yep. It increases your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, and your social health. So given that we're such big hikers, you guys are going to be stuck with us for at least another 50 years or so. Fingers crossed. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs> See you next time. Hopefully out on the trail. Exactly how we want our lives to look as we get older. <laughs> No, we don't want him to look like that. <laughs> That's pretty much how it's going to look. <laughs> this is our lives right now.